I'm going to bring you through an example where we connect a Velocio PLC to a Kinko HMI. And we'll just start with a new, a new project here. And we'll call it 2 Kinko. And in this example, I'm going to use, uh, it's an Ace 5150, but I'll try to stick to common pins so you can adjust this if, if you want at a later time. Uh, I'm just going to use Auto Setup, and it finds the PLC. And you see the serial uh, setup here. I'm going to just use the default settings, but if you wanted to adjust any of those, you can. It's uh, 9600, no parity, and one stop bit. And I will simply take an output bit. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use the HMI. We'll be able to push a button and turn on a digital output, and that'll be really easy to see because um, we'll we'll be able to look at the the, the LED on the output uh, on the PLC itself. And uh, we'll also flip a switch. I've, I've got a simulation stick plugged into the PLC on uh, the digital input port C, and. Um, We'll be able to we'll, we'll be able to look at that uh, on the HMI side. Uh, I said it'll be on C, but uh, digital input will actually be on B. Uh, no, will you see? Will you see? C is a little more common. Okay. Uh, so the output I want to use D. So I'll make it remote writable, so that uh, that gives HMI permission to write to the uh, data. And then I'll make that D one the first. And you see, it's already it tells me it's remote writable, and well, you see one as the digital input. And you see as I select these, it automatically assigns the next available Modbus address. Uh, your bits are going to be done on this side. Uh, your, all the rest of your data types are going to be done over here. They, uh, you will have a separate, a distinct uh, set of uh, like 1 through 1,000 on this side. Uh, it's separate and distinct from this side. So this one would also start at 1. Uh, and it's fine that they have the same numbers. They're, they're different sets of data. Uh, this field is very rarely used, so I wouldn't, wouldn't worry about that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and program this. Okay, it's programmed, and I'm going to run it. Okay, and that's that's pretty much all we're going to do on the PLC side. And then I just created a new example. All I did is I did new, and then I gave it a name to Kinko over here. Uh, now we need to go ahead and set up. The, the hardware, and I'm going to be using uh, the Modbus RTU is what you want to select. Um, let's see here, Modbus RTU, and that'll be the PLC. Uh, all of our Velocio PLCs that have RS-232, they use Modbus RTU, uh, so you always want to select that. Um, let me quick check what the model number is on this PLC, on the HMI. I've got a MT4230, MT4230, I seem to remember they weren't in the most logical of orders, uh, maybe they're just ascending, uh, 4230T, I believe this is it, we'll go horizontal, let me double check that number, yep. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so the next thing we do is we use a connector to connect them. I'm using COM0. In this case, the, uh, the serial ports kind of got an interesting thing where they, they put two serial COMs on the same exact physical port, so they just use different pins on it. Since, since this is a nine-pin connector and they only really need three for communication, they went ahead and uh, just have different pin numbers um, on that serial cable are, are used um, for the two different com ports. Okay, so now I go here, I go to the com settings, and uh, the only difference that they have by default is they have a, a different parity check. I'm going to select it to, to none, so it's our default, but you can use, you know, as long as you make the match up, you can use whatever you want. Um, okay, so I've got these guys set up, and the next thing we'll do is over here you've got your screens. So I'm going to do a couple of real simple things. I'm going to use uh, a switch here, and when we're talking about uh, bits, you're always going to use the address 0 here, uh, or the address type rather, 0, 0x, zero and then you may remember that the digital output I'm wanting to affect is address 1. So this uh, 
bit state switch is going to be a um, it, it's a button that, that can toggle and then I want a bit state lamp that'll show me if something is on or off and that'll also be a 0x and it's going to be address 2 so I'll be able to, to tell um, its its status um, you can you can adjust other things uh, for instance uh, maybe I just want this to be a momentary switch they call that reset here for some reason uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll actually make that momentary so I can see when it's pressed down. Uh, you can change some of the graphics. Um, they got a number of options here. Uh, we'll we'll do this quick and then I'll explain the slight difference when you're you're dealing with other um, data types. It's a little different, but not much. Okay, so we compile it. And then we're going to download it. Download. That'll just take a minute. Okay, download succeeded. Okay, so I've got my Okay, yep, I am pressing the uh pressing the button on the HMI, which, uh, you know what, I can do this a different way. Um, th I just showed you how you would download it to real screen, but um, let's say you want, we can do it differently so that you can, uh, you can see it here. Um, I think that's right. Okay, so we can simulate the screen on there. As I push this button, I can see the uh, the light on my PLC actually illuminate, and there we go. I'm flipping the toggle switch now on my uh, my simulator stick, and you can you can see it uh, changing right there. So that that should be able to get you started. Uh, I'll close out of this and comment on one other important thing. Let's say you're wanting to uh, display a number. Um, or you're wanting to input a number, something like that. Uh, the difference there is you'll want to select 4x and then whatever its appropriate, uh, its respective number is. Uh, but use 4x for the non, uh, the non bits, uh, 0x for the bits. When you're when you're dealing with the the non bits, uh, you'll also go ahead and tell it what kind of data you're dealing with. Are you dealing with uh, uh, an unsigned integer, that would be a, a UI8 or UI16. Uh, a word is every 16 bits, so a UI8 or UI16 would be a word. Uh, uh, also an I16 would be a word. A 32-bit number, an I32 or a float, you'd switch this over to double word. Um, and uh, you'd use the float and it would automatically select double word actually. And uh, for the I32, again, that's a signed number, since it doesn't have the U before it, and you would use double word for that. Um, so so th that's, uh, th that should get you uh, at least an exercise where you can start to see some things happen both on the screen and on the PLC.